That's right. Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You. Welcome back to my show. Today, we are making sourdough starter. Now, what is sourdough starter? It's what you use to make bread and bake other goodies. I always thought sourdough starter was just something to make a loaf of bread with, but it's not. I made the most delicious chocolate cake with it, and it adds such rich flavor. So let's get started on how easy it is for you to start your own sourdough. And it's very economical. All you need to start is, well, three things. Well, actually you need a vessel too. So here's my cute little vessel and I've got a rubber band and I'll explain that rubber band to you. Here's my cute little vessel I got at a thrift store. And you're going to need, um, first for the first time you do it, you're gonna use a whole wheat flour. I have an organic whole wheat flour from King Arthur. I only use King Arthur flours. They are unbleached. They are far superior flours than the normal grocery store flours. They are pricier, but they are better. So that being said, and I have, after today, we'll use their all purpose. These are unbleached flours. You need an unbleached flour for this. So. King Arthur is a great bet for you. And you need water, not probably from your tap. It's okay, if you drink your tap water, it's probably fine to use. I use uh, spring water and for this and to drink, so that's what I'm using. All we're going to do is we're gonna add a cup of flour and a cup of water in here and stir it up. That's it. So we are going to be using the whole wheat flour. All we're gonna do here is we're gonna add a cup of flour, first time, we're using a whole wheat flour. Can you not use a whole wheat flour and just use all purpose? Yes, it might take a little longer for your sourdough. This is a half cup, so I need two of these. It might take a little longer for the yeast to um, start activating in your dough, in your starter, not your dough, and then a cup of water. And that is it. We stir that up for this rubber band here that's right here. Put it down to the level your flour is. And you want to do that because you want to watch your baby grow. This, this is like your new baby, seriously. You're going to be taking care of this and you will probably fall in love with it like I have fallen in love with mine. I see it in the fridge every day and I'm like, hey baby. And I know weekly I have to feed it and take care of it and it's my new friend. So um, this is gonna become a, one of your new friends, I guarantee it. And what we do is we wanna lightly cover it. So, you know, you, you don't wanna um, put the flip top up. You wanna lightly cover it. And believe it or not, there is yeast in the air that's gonna get in here. And it's going to help this turn into a gorgeous, bubbly, um, stringy, beautiful mess. You want to put your new baby in a nice warm spot. So you find a nice warm spot because the spot you pick is going to matter as to how quickly your new baby develops into a toddler when you can use it. We'll be doing this and every day I'll be showing you the, st the steps and you'll see this whole process in this video. It's going to be super cool. So we're going to look at it in a couple hours or maybe before bed, and we're gonna see what it looks like. Okay, this is in the evening of day one. Can you see that liquid layer on top? Liquid layer on top. Let's look at our, our rubber band. You can see the liquid and our flour mixture here. day one. We are on day two of our sourdough starter. Let's take a look at this. Okay, not sure if you can see, but we have definite bubbles going on in here. And remember I showed you last night that the water had come up and that we had some separation happening. Well, now I'm going to show you from a different angle what we're looking at. Okay, now we have See how we have all the flour and then we have some liquid here? This is all okay. If yours doesn't do this, it's okay also, but we have some liquid. Now we have our, our um, 
rubber band here so it's it hasn't like grown so now we are on to step two day two so what we're gonna do is we are going to measure out a portion of this and we're gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio we're gonna do one part this starter with one part flour with one part our water and then we're doing like 115 so 115 grams of flour we're gonna want to stir we're gonna want to stir this up so we get kind of a mixture. And then before we, and see when I stir, see the bubbles in there? Oh, our yeast is forming and eating and fermenting and creating bubbles for us. That's perfect. So we're going to put this in. Now watch the consistency when I pour this. It will change over time. There's our 115 grams. So let's just move that out of the way. Put the water in, now we're gonna stir it up. I used regular, all-purpose, unbleached flour this time. And see how we're a little thicker now? So lesson number two of the day, this, anytime you have leftover, is called discard. Do not toss this out. We are going to pour this into this big jar and you're gonna be like, holy cow, why are you putting this itty bitty amount in this big jar? Because the process of making sourdough starter, you have a lot of waste, a lot of discard. And we do not wanna get rid of this. This cost money. So we are going to use this in other baking um, things. And er, so we are going to use this to bake with. And I will show you other things to bake with. So you'll have your sourdough starter to bake with and you'll be like, oh, I gotta get rid of some of that discard. I gotta make some pizza dough. I gotta make some biscuits. And this is what you'll use. You can also make pizza and biscuits with your sourdough. Make sure you wash this out because it gets all crusty. We have our sourdough starter in here. I put the rubber band down to where the sourdough is. And this stays on your counter with a towel over it. Your sourdough discard, which is this, goes in the fridge until you use and bake with it. We will see you on day three. We are on day three of our beauty, our baby. Um, you can see that we have some, some lift, we'll call it. You can see there's tons of bubbles. It looks really healthy. Make sure you smell it every day. The, ch the, the smell changes. Mm. Um, you can see a little water pocket in there. That's fine. I mixed it well. It just does have some separation when those bubbles get going. Uh, I'm doing 115 grams of flour, 115 grams of water, and 115 grams of this. And then what's left over of this goes in our discard. And remember, we're going to start baking with that. And now we're going to put that in here. Before I start stirring it up, this is my discard from yesterday. Do you see the liquid layer there too? That's all right. We're going to pour the rest of this into here. I try to not have it touch the sides just because it is like glue getting that off there. Let's take a little afternoon look-see. See we have um, some growth it's at the top. And we have some nice bubble action. Make sure to take a sniff, smell the difference. We'll see what we look like tomorrow. Okay, day four, let's look at our dough. It's in the morning. Oh, holy cow. Our rubber band is here. This is some healthy starter. My starter did not do this till day 10 last time. Wow. 
Look at all those bubbles. Incredible. That is beautiful. Do not be disturbed if yours does not look like that. That's a big wow. So now we're gonna measure out 115 grams of all three ingredients and we're gonna get this baby fed again. And then we're gonna set our alarm and we're gonna feed it at 7 p.m. tonight also. So we are starting two days of feeding and boy, this yeast is going to be happy. I already have our flour. We have our 15, 115 grams of water. Oh my goodness, and I want you to see this pour. This is important here, just so you can see the interesting, look at all those bubbles, wow. To pour that in, gosh, that is so pretty. Do not forget to save this, put this in your discard, and we will do recipes with it later. Okay, we are on day five of our unveiling. Yet, Remember yesterday, day four, we started feeding it two times a day. We could have done that on day three too, but I forgot. So day four, we fed it in the morning, I showed you, and then I fed it again at night, 12 hours later. And remember yesterday when I showed you, it was way up to here, the jar. So let's see what it is today. Oh, it's looking more normal. You know, I, I mean, I could still see the marks from yesterday way up here. Um, and you know what? I think I washed this. So maybe it did rise in the night and then fell, which happens. Um, I thought I washed this, I can't remember. So we'll just say that um, here's our line. So it's above our line. Here's our where we started. Oh, it's getting a rich yeast smell to it. Oh, it smells so good. And you can taste it too. You know, maybe even every day, taste a little. Definitely sour. Definitely got some sour action going on. So now we're gonna feed our baby. I see lots of tiny bubbles today. Lots of tiny little ones. Whereas other, the other day, yesterday, I believe it was, I, they were a lot bigger. So can you see those tiny bubbles? Tiny bubbles. Isn't that a song? An old Hawaiian song? So we're putting this in here. Now here's my discard. We're getting quite a bit. So we gotta start using it. In the f so the next thing we'll be making with our discard dough is sourdough pancakes. So we'll probably be eating those for dinner or breakfast tomorrow. And this is getting a, a, a strong odor too. Not as um, yeasty as this one, because this is not being fed. This is being fed now twice a day. Now, if you forget to feed your starter for a whole day, one of the two times you're supposed to feed it, all is not lost. Don't worry about it. Just pick back up where you left off. Um, you know, this can take seven days. This can take two weeks. It matters a lot on your environment. I'm in Florida. It's super humid. So things tend to work a little better here. If you're, if it's in the winter time up in Michigan, you might have a little bit longer time to get this done, but don't stress about it. This is supposed to be Fun. We're gonna do a quick video on day five here, and I want you to see something. What you are looking for is a doubling in size in six to eight hours. That's how you know when your, your sourdough is really starting to perform. And you can see inside, I have not just little bubbles, I have lots of big bubbles. Okay, we are on day six. It's like noon, I forgot to feed my baby. So it's okay. Nothing terrible has happened. Let me get it, let's check it out. I could smell it from here. It's looking good, it's raised up. Smells good. Now I can also see a line where it was at way up here and then it fell. 
What you want, the best time to start baking with your starter is when it's way at, when it's really swollen. So what we're looking for right now is for this to double in size within six to eight hours. You'll find that you're like, whoa, it's been two hours, mine's doubled already. Then you know it's ready, it's working, it's doing what it should. Day six, look at all those bubbles. Beautiful. Now let's pour this, measure it out. Let me see. Can you see that? Beautiful. Day seven, we have our, I fed it this morning, it started here. We've over doubled in size. Doing exactly what we're supposed to. We're measuring it out. And I realize I'm measuring 125 grams, not 115. Just stay consistent. Putting this beauty in here. If you are measuring by a cup, make sure you stir it to get the bubbles out. We are going to do some time lapse for cut photography for the evening of day seven. Thank you so much for watching this episode of Kathy Cooks For You. I hope you enjoyed learning how to make your own sourdough starter. Check out my sourdough playlist. I'm adding to it quite often and see what you can do with sourdough starter besides make bread. I mean, I love making the bread too, but there's so much more you can do. And also there'll be discard recipes for you to go to. Also, if you could please subscribe, that would be great. And I'd love to hear from you with a comment and a thumbs up.